Hey everyone, this is Hillary Colos with the Upstate Curious team at Compass. I am here at 330 Middle Mist in Delhi, New York. And this one's really special, guys. This has so much to offer. You're seeing the house here behind me. It's a renovated farmhouse, but it is on 100 plus acres. And we have views, we have a converted barn, we have a garage, we have a garden, we have two ponds. We have so much to show you here. So I just wanna cut straight to it. We're also less than 15 minutes away from Delhi and lots of other cute towns here in the Western Catskills. So I'm gonna do a quick tour around the outside, show you some views, we'll go inside, and then I'll show you some of the other features of the property. Here's a quick look at the front of the house, which is one of a few entrances. We'll go inside in a sec, but first I want to turn you around and show you one of the amazing mountain views on the property. It's really just breathtaking. Over here is the renovated barn with room for at least two vehicles. Uh, there's also a workshop space. And the second story is unfinished and could be a great gym, office, or studio. As you walk around, you'll find the property is fully surrounded by really beautiful perennial landscaping. Here we have a peek at one of the two ponds on the property. Overlooking the pond is the first wood deck with a pergola. It's also a great spot to check out the view. There is a three car garage. One of the bays is heated to keep your car toasty in the winter. And there's also a loft with storage space. Here is the extensive fenced in garden. It's already planted for the year. And there's also a large composting area and a chicken coop in the back. This is the 1800s planting shed, which has all the space you need for your tools. It also has amazing light and there's a space underneath the building for more storage. Through the trees, we have a second deck here with a hot tub. There's another entrance there on the side of the house that takes you to the mudroom and the kitchen. And I just love this swing for another place to take in mountain views. Let's head inside. At this entrance, you come into a spacious foyer with a coat closet. To the left of the foyer, through the French doors, you have the first of two living rooms. It's a large room with a wood-burning fireplace, an entire wall of built-in bookshelves, lots of room for seating, and doors out to the back deck. Also off the foyer, there's a staircase up to the bedrooms and this updated half bath. Through another set of French doors, we have a generous dining room with built-in storage. It's a great space for entertaining. From the dining room, we flow right into the large chef's kitchen, which to me is really the hub of the home. This kitchen has everything, a huge island, two sinks, one with hot water on demand, a dishwasher, wolf range with a griddle. There's a pot filler, which is so handy, warming drawer and lots of light and lots of custom cabinetry. This is one of my favorite rooms in the home. It is a lovely sunroom right off the kitchen. It would make a great office, maybe a breakfast nook. Great place for your plants. And here we come into the mud room slash laundry room slash storage room of my dreams. You have an extra fridge in here, lots of space for pantry items, cleaning items, a view out to the hot tub, and this great little space for when you come in to drop your boots or your shoes. Back through the kitchen, we have a really sweet parlor room, which could be used in a lot of different ways. We have the basement door, and this sweet little book nook under the stairs. This is all open to the second living room, which also has a wood-burning fireplace, doors out to the hot tub, 
and lots of great room for seating. Finally, on the first floor, you have this back room, which makes a great bedroom, office, or both, and has great views from the window. Let's head upstairs and check out the primary suite. I just love how sunny and spacious this primary bedroom is with space for a king bed, anything else you need really. There are lots of closets with one in the room and a few in the hallway. The primary bathroom gives you lots of room with a shower, tub, and toilet closet with a bidet. This is the second full bath on the first floor with a double sink, lots of storage, and a shower and bathtub. Down the hall, there are two more spacious bedrooms, each with a closet and lovely views from the windows. Let's head back outside and check out the property. In addition to the two-story renovated barn and three-car garage, there is so much more to explore on the property. As you walk up from the house past the garden, there are several open meadows, multiple areas with wooded paths, and another large spring-fed pond. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of 330 Middle Mist in Delhi, New York. I'm up here in one of the upper meadows and it's so quiet, it's so peaceful. You basically have the whole mountaintop to yourself. But you're also less than 10 minutes away from Delhi, New York, which is a really cute town in the Catskills. It has lots of great restaurants and shops and it's very walkable. And there's all kinds of other nature activities to do up here. If you get sick of your 100 acres, if you want to go fishing, hiking, uh, we're less than an hour to Bel Air and Platak Hill Ski Mountains. Uh, other towns nearby, Bovina, Andes, Stamford, Hobart, the Book Village. There's a lot to do up here. You're not going to get bored. And only two and a half hours or so from the GW Bridge. So basically, you can have the best of all the worlds up here. Uh, so we hope that you come check it out for yourself. I think I'm going to hang around here for a little bit longer, but I hope to see you soon.